Hello everybody, my name is Dave and today is a two-for-one special. I'm going to show you two things today. The Beamer 3.0 app for Mac and I'm also going to show you how to get subtitles because the Beamer app is great support for subtitles. So let's start with Beamer first. Now Beamer is an app that you install on your Mac as an application and you open it up and here is the uh, actual app opened. It's a small little box there. And what you could do is you can airplay to your brand new Apple TV 4 or even your Chromecast. And what's good about it is it, it supports airplay of video only. You don't have to mirror your entire screen or make an extended display and then drag a movie player over into that screen of your where your Apple TV is. Uh, all you have to do is stream that particular movie so it frees up all other resources so this is the Beamer app here and you pretty much just click here and you'll download it right to your Mac and it goes right into your downloads folder and what's good about Beamer is it plays multiple formats there's AVI's, MP4's, MKV's, uh, FLV and, and dot .move and as well as Windows and then it has support for SRT and sub um, IDX so it has subtitle support and and it's so easy it's a matter of drag and drop it's high quality it has surround sound and and all that stuff it's just a wonderful app to have so the other thing I'm gonna show you today and this will all come together uh, in a minute uh, is subscene.com subscene.com is a great place to get subtitles so you can pretty much click on a movie and then they have it in all different languages, like this one's Arabic, uh, this is Ant-Man in uh, uh, Danish, English, all the different subtitles that you could possibly need. And it's a matter of just clicking and downloading it to your computer. And I'll show you what to do with that SRT file that downloads. All right, so now with that out of the way, um, I'm going to put these two links in the description. Uh, but now let's watch and see what we can do with this app. So let me move my iPhone right over here. It's uh, recording the screen of my uh, the Vizio TV that I have with Apple TV connected to it. And the other great thing about the Beamer app is not only you just beam the video that you like, uh, you can also use the Siri remote uh, to fast forward and rewind. Now with uh, mirroring, uh, you can't use the Siri remote. You have to control uh, using the, whatever player that you have uh, mirrored to your screen. You have to use those controls and you know you have to get up from the couch, move the little slider bar to the particular area of where you want the movie. Uh, but with the Beamer app, you can actually use the Apple uh, Siri remote. So let's give you a demo now. Now I have this folder open here and I have two movies, Age... Uh, of Ultron and I also have Escobar Paradise uh, that's 2014 movie um, with uh, that great actor and I'll, I'll show you who it is I forgot his name uh, but here we have Age of Ultron I have an AVI file and then I have the Escobar which is the MKV file now you could just drag and drop this into a playlist uh, I have them dragged and dropped in here already so we can just go ahead and select your Apple TV or if I had a Chromecast it would show up there in in the list and you just hit play and now we're gonna play Age of Ultron it's gonna beam it right to the Apple TV via AirPlay so it's just playing whatever is in your playlist here let's switch over to Escobar and I'll show you and I have the uh, I have the uh, subtitles off right now so I'm going to double click that and since we have our Apple TV chosen in AirPlay devices uh, you're going to see it pop up here and right onto your Apple TV via AirPlay. So now you want subtitles. Uh, so what we're going to do is you can click in this little down arrow here. By the way you could change uh, different um, surround sounds and things like that if they have offered with that video. But you can basically go here and, and click load file and we're playing Escobar right now so I have the two SRTs from that website that I showed you and say I want to have it in Spanish I could just double click here and it will start with the Spanish it'll reload the movie right where you left off and 
turn it back on again with the Spanish subtitles. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it's all in Spanish here. I, I hope I got that right. Uh, now we're going to click here and we're going to load the file again and we're going to do Escobar in German. So this is a German ST, SRT file and we're going to hit open. It's going to stop it, reload the, the movie that I have playing and now you're going to have German subtitles. I got to wait for them to talk, obviously. So let me show you now uh, the remote. You can now scrub through using the re Siri remote, and I could scrub back here, and I can click, and now you see it in Spanish. I mean, in German. Now it's in German subtitles, and with Siri remote support, which is great. Um, it's it's a uh, it's the only way to get you to stream from another device to your Apple TV or Chromecast and have the ability to use a remote, uh, the Siri remote. Um, the other thing is now we, we could do Age of Ultron and uh, I'll click that because it's in my playlist and Age of Ultron uh, plays, it has no subtitle but now we'll just click here and we'll load the file and this time we're gonna drag and drop so I have um, Age of Ultron in Spanish. I'm going to just drag it right into here, and it's going to restart. Let's try that again. Oh, actually I actually have it off, so we're going to have to load it this way first. So we'll load it in Age of Ultron Spanish, and we'll turn it, it turns on. It relaunches the app right where you left off, and it'll start having it with the Spanish subtitles. So now that we have it on, and we have it on Spanish, we're going to do Age of Ultron, and we'll do English uh, subtitles. And that I'll drag and drop, drop it right in there, and hopefully uh, it will change. Uh, let's try it again. We have English, Age of Ultron, English, and I'll drag it. Actually, you know what? We'll just do it this way. We'll load the file. We'll go to Age of Ultron, and this is in English, and we'll hit Open. I, I know it works. I did it before. Uh, maybe it just works with the MKVs or something like that. But now you're going to see English subtitles when they start talking. Let's uh, use our Siri remote and go to a part where they're talking. Maybe they're talking here. I don't know. We'll hit, we'll hit the button, and they'll start playing again I'm sorry I hit the wrong button I hit the pause button oh now there we go uh, let's go back to Age of Ultron I'm sorry about that I hit the wrong button uh, we'll hit Age of Ultron it'll start playing now and uh, let's see if that drag and drop works we'll drag it right on top of the Age of Ultron that's what you have to do since I have multiple things in a playlist you have to add it to the, drop it onto the same file that you're playing, which is Age of Ultron. And you can also control the uh, the uh, remote, you know, the uh, playback features with with using the app itself and moving it back and forth. Uh, you don't have to use the Siri remote. You can actually do it the uh, old-fashioned way. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. I thought that was English, but this is the Arabic one uh, that I downloaded for Age of Ultron. So that's in Arabic. Uh, you, when you download from the site, you have to make sure that you, uh, well, when you're on that site, you got to make sure that when you download it, it goes into your downloads folder, you show in Finder, and you change the name of that SRT file, and just write something in there like English or Arabic or something, so that when you're looking for it, when you hit, you know, file, you'll find it, it'll say Arabic or you know, next to Age of Ultron Arabic or Age of Ultron Spanish, or something like that. So this is a great app. This is a, a great way to be able to use your Siri remote on your Apple TV uh, and also AirPlay it to a Chromecast as well, all just by dragging and dropping uh, movies that you have that you download and you rip from DVDs, and you throw them right into that uh, app, and you get everything you need. I'm going to pause it right there. So this has been Subtitles 3.0. And also that website where you get the subtitles. Everything will be in the description. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.